screen. Um, oh, of course, lights are pop stuff right then and there. Um, let's see. I'm streaming. Let's see if I can put the freaking original artist at onto chat. Um, original artist. Oh, this. And Instagram and Twitter. Let's see if I can post that. Uh, pin? No way, guys. I'm a freaking streamer. Okay. Hopefully, everything is moving smoothly. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, let me open which on my phone so i can actually see chat if anything pops up do, do, do. this music too loud it is just tell me uh let me see if i can lower it do, 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 do. okay so today is an art tutorial time um nam nam asked me for some art help and that down and mostly just about shading and i yeah i i was just gonna use matt 3's uh art piece because uh one really well made so it makes it easier on to like um making less mistakes and so yeah oh hey guys hey kuthona hey kuma hey cuckoo <laughs> oh, thanks game hopefully it's not copyrighted <laughs> um so basically uh art stream talking about how to do shading and all that uh my process with it uh hopefully i can remember my process here let me get um wait you just use your own emote i do that if i start making emotes i mean i probably can't do that right now um let's see if i have um and what's it called step by steps for art okay i think i deleted it whatever hopefully i remember and can get to it hey kerbal okay so and there's an ad okay this is already scuffed i'm gonna cry cry with me chat Hey, I use this song. Okay. So if I'm like talking about and like trying to move the screen and stuff and it's just not moving, can you guys please tell me? Because this stupid program is so scuffed. Um, EP, you gotta get an ad block. Dude, I had ad blockers, but then um the freaking YouTube update just destroyed all of them. I'm gonna cry. Oh yeah. I should steal yours. Okay, so first process is select our first part of the process. Also, ignore this little <laughs> this erase mark. I'm not gonna fix it. I completely <laughs> forgot about it. But yeah, uh, did I feel you? Go my What's your ad blocker? I might just steal that right here right now. Um, okay, so let's go over the process. Uh, I have these colors uh, helps let me figure out which shading should go where and all that stuff i was gonna hop in the micro server a bit yeah you should do that i think kirby's still on um youtube barely runs yeah my my thing would just not pop on uh like my videos but anyways so i'm gonna use blue lines for uh the first shade and then you have shading two over it. And then you have shading three. We might do shading 1.5. Um, and I'll talk to about which, uh, which shading you should do for what and when and all that. You have the light source, you have subsurface scattering, and then you have in like environment lighting, all that jazz. We're mostly gonna focus on this lot uh probably not environmental lighting or much sur subsurface but i'll just get to it it's ad block oh thank you kuthona i ah oh, 
I don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> um, okay. So, it's kind of jarring to see such a plain face and then have everything else shaded. So, let me go over this. Oh, yeah. Also, the original artist is Matsuri. Uh, or Matsuri. I linked them and pinned it in chat. And on the VOD is going to be in the description. Um all that jazz so go follow them instagram twitter all that i think they only have those two which i worship them because their line art is so good their um what's it called shading is mwah, chef's kiss just their art style is everything that i absolutely love hey oops there we go all right let's get into it so first steps um to consider before you start shading and all the process and all that jazz um is to plan it out planning like i wouldn't recommend planning for just if you're just doodling having fun and all that stuff but um if you want a really good illustration one like know how shadows work and all that know how anatomy works all that all those little tips help and stuff but i think the most important thing to remember is to plan ahead um you guys might not like this <laughs> stream it's gonna get a little bit boring and slow because last time i did this it took like three hours but yeah <laughs> hey so shading first shade so let's establish a light source or whatever that's my original light source i was gonna do be oh yeah i was gonna like redo it and do it behind um do like yo let's just make it like come from the side pretty like simple basic shape or shading simple and clean is the way to me. <laughs> yeah i'll just leave it on okay let's get color guidelines for shading one so for the first layer of shadow is basically everything that's not in light so you see getting direct light you get it over here would be the light the light source would be hitting whatever is closest to it and then um shadow everything else it's pretty straightforward at least for the uh first day you know karaoke stream win every day is a karaoke stream with me and honestly i haven't practiced art in like maybe a week and so <laughs> this might be more scuffed than you think so let's get into it everything in the neck would probably be covered and just mark it out uh i'm gonna do dots wherever everything should be um covered by shadow the light is hitting from this side and so this would block it maybe some light would come through but then it's also underneath like the head and stuff is yeah oh wait what i'd be a special guest because baby tonight the creeper is gonna steal our stuff again the creeper doesn't have arms okay <laughs> um pretty straightforward the nose it sticks out a ton oh only one side would be lit something to remember when practicing shading and stuff like that is to know when to use uh hard light and soft light hard light would be around this nose because you know it's something very abrupt whereas if you go from one side to the of the face to the next it would probably be a lot more soft shading um you know because it's pretty subtle so yeah and just so you guys know this entire stream i'm gonna say um at least 120 times and i'm gonna explain the same thing over and over and probably not do a good job at it because i'm not a pro there's people that 
are better at this than me i colored her lips on the top layer because uh usually like lips will stick up you have that little bridge and then you have the lips underneath there and then you have Ugh. no the lip sticks out and then it goes underneath that way you know that shady the light source would hit it if it came from underneath it would shade it out if it came from above and from the side you probably could make it like blend in more the further you, this way you go since our light source is coming from over here uh, um i'll probably get a little bit of this lip the bottom lip simply because it's coming from the top corner um just a little bit though and it would be covered just a smidge by the top lip i'm gonna mark it a little bit we got the chin here chins something to remember when practicing shading and like planning stuff out if you're like i don't know where this or this goes you can literally just feel the curvature of your face and be like oh wait yeah my chin kind of sticks out a bit maybe that's what i should be doing that's what i should be shading wait what when you said homebrew didn't work what was wrong with it i genuinely don't know and it's been a minute so i don't really remember cats don't have posable thumbs yet they still that's actually a good point <laughs> yeah but then again creepers are the antithesis of cats so yeah there you tried putting on blue mist dude here let me show you my original plan for it we're gonna make her i forgot what this character their name is i think it's like Usa, Uta, or whatever. But we're gonna make him look like a clown. This is likely going to be the end result. <laughs> um, Peepers are scared of cats? Yes, exactly. Okay, let's get back to the OG, what we're working with. Uh, let's add the curvature of chin a bit. There's that little underpass of the uh, underneath the lips, because we're like this. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like that um i like to add just a little bit of shadow underneath the lips at least for this piece just to give it a little bit more oomph and detail uh anatomy really helps with you know figuring out how to do shading even though i really need to study it so you have like Oh, I, there's this guy on YouTube that go, gives like art tips now and then just like really simple art tips where you can like map things out and one of them recently was like the curvature of the jaw blah, blah, blah. And so just remember how there will be a little bit curving in, and the light source will hit the side of the face where Know, like the jaw sticks out and all that jazz and so further away it gets from the light source that's what we're shading for this first first step huh what's going on um what's that got to do with anything if you don't have enough space on your Wii home build can fail yeah i think that's probably it i think the same thing happened with my uh 3ds modding uh is that a person in the mirror uh i don't know oh also i'm gonna add this little reference box down here so you can see the overall um as opposed to and we're just doing the face for today just so you can see the overall progress even when we have to zoom in but during the shading process instead of the planning process the shading process you probably should not zoom in so much um it'll especially if you're a digital artist because it'll yeah get pixelated all that jazz um the ear will be covered i cheekbones stick out even though anime faces are often really flat bro how many ads are there hold up there we go okay 
The updating still? Okay, cool. I gotta check like a thousand times if the art page is like updating as I draw it. Because when I was recording it, it was so far behind. It was the biggest pain that I just could not edit. Um, cheekbones stick out a bit. A little bit of underneath the eyelid, maybe. We'll get to that. Uh, this face, the nose bridge goes up into the eyebrows, eyelids, and all that stuff. So this part will be covered. Um, curvature of the head. A lot of this is just really knowing how the head or yeah just how light interacts with shapes and anatomy kind of stuff chain book and leather books I watch a skeleton put on male boots and leather boots mm. I'm so confused bro Anyway, um, we'll get into the finer details with the other shading points, like adding more shadows with the hairs and stuff like that. But we'll get to that. Just mark it off that this is where we need to go for now. Uh, let's get a little bit under the hair. And, oh gee. So, with thin strands of hair like this, light doesn't pick up as much because there's you know not a lot to pick up and there's strands of hair and so they're not really solid it's like trying to get a shadow from water sometimes it's more difficult uh the thinner the strand of hair is and so we'll add just a little bit we'll get into like transparent kind of yeah um and the thinner it is kind of the more transparent it is we'll mark it for now but the more when we get to it we'll blend it we'll add you know mess with like its opacity over here and stuff that kind of stuff and oh yeah i'll also add the art brushes that i use for the coloring portion i found it on for free on art portfolio for procreate but really this process or any brush like the like these round brushes and soft brushes like those are great too but for the what you call it planning process it really doesn't matter what you have uh, let's make it like very a little bit We're talking about how Sonic colors for the Wii on multiplayer, but not like 3DS game. What? What are you talking about with us? Those stands here. I'm curious. Now, do you know how to draw armor weathering? I, I am not. <laughs> I don't know anything about like war, tanks, armor swords i don't guns anything like that i literally i really need to learn like anatomy and get good at it i'm <laughs> i might be good at like a little some things here and there like shading sometimes but really yeah i <laughs> i'm not good at being original i can show you some other no you're good you're good i there's art tutorials out there and there's some like people on Instagram that have shown like little uh, their little process on how they do it. I just know nothing about it. So I don't even I can't even speak for it. Uh, again, cheekbones stick out. This part probably won't be shaded a ton um, because it's more directly in the light. Um, but We'll make it blend into the lighting when we get to it so that it, you know, it's more a smooth transition because anime faces are typically flat compared to, you know, realistic faces. About four 3DS games have online multiplayer and mostly single player games like Sonic Colors has online multiplayer. Yeah. Well, I think I saw a video on like the 
um, Minecraft for 3DS. It's kind of interesting. So that's just the first part, the first shadow. Uh, let's go to shadow two. We're gonna skip shadow 1.5. We don't really have to map it out, but I'll I'll explain that part when we get to like the actual coloring part Blech. process. Actually, I'm gonna keep this old layer on and I'm gonna lower its opacity a bit. So, uh, what's it called? Shadow two is cast shadows. So for example, let's say, looking at the light source from this side, her hair would be just covered by shadow because it's being covered by her face. This area over here would be covered in shadow because it's being covered by her clothing. And so it's little cast shadows like that. Never played Minecraft on 3DS because it's a new th Oh, it's a new one? I didn't know that. I heard it was so bad though. <laughs> um, so cast shadows. Let's look at our chin. Um, typically, light sources coming up from above. Just look. No. Just see the light from the head. Cast a shadow onto the rest of the neck. Shut up, Ed. <gasps> ah. What was your mom last night? Joke's on you. All right. He's dead. Anyways, I didn't want to talk about it this stream, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. So, cast shadow. Now we get the neck a bit. Uh, we'll probably make it blend more into the rest of the neck. <laughs> She's pogging that my mom's dead. Okay. Um, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> so the it'll even though we're marking it right here, this will probably be the rest of the you know where we start blending it. Um. Let's mark this little frill here. And again, um, what do you want to call it? My brain just went so blank. Um, anyways, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, haven't heard this song in a while. Another mom dead. Bruh, not everyone's the same. Oh, because you said, because you look like you're grooving, Kuma, I'm going to skip this song just for you. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, I remember. The little, whatever we're mapping and stuff does not have to be accurate. Um, because the, as long as we know the general guidelines, we, we should be good. We just need a little help here and there. The curvature of the face should get darker around here. The chin, oops, wait, I kinda messed that up. Uh, did you see Mother 3, was that it? I didn't, but freaking the Pokemon presents was today and they didn't add the old gen one through three games to the Switch. It's right there, there's no reason. Oh, dang. Pain. Okay. So let's say let's give her like a really big chin and then like her face would cover like curve to it. Or actually it'll probably just be like kinda like that. So that's why we're cover our curving this part to the chin a little bit. Doesn't have to be super detailed. My throat is already dying. How long are we into the stream? <laughs> <laughs> uh 30 minutes okay <laughs> super famicon online do they did they name it famicon for the japanese accounts because that would be pretty epic gosh it's so funny i saw so many people seething on twitter you got this ep thanks uh seething about what the pokemon presents or the famicon thing uh let's Color a little bit underneath her lips because it'll be 
cast shadow underneath this, uh, you know, where her mouth curves. Um, and then I'll just make this part a little bit darker. This part we would probably blend um, into, like I said earlier with the first shadow, because the light source is coming in from over here and it's like closer to this side. And the further away it'll get darker but it's also being in a cast shadow underneath the top lip just a bit just a hair both people are always angry on Twitter. what's twitter i don't remember um a little bit nostril nostrils on the bus um a little bit of that nose curvature and then we'll probably blend this part out um here's where my art style or anatomy understanding versus stylization gets a bit up is Matsuri did this to like symbolize like you know the nerd that nose curvature and it's like okay that's cool but then when you, I go to shade it I'm like oh I haven't practiced this style enough uh how do I make it like curve without being like a huge honking nose um I guess, and I don't even have Twitter. What's Twitter? Uh, EP, you know what Twitter? Dude, what's Twitter? Wait, I have Twitter blue. What's the <laughs> way? Okay, I don't have. Okay. Um, what's this? Oh, isn't that supposed to be a highlight on her nose? Um, so the lines are supposed to be in shape shadowing highlight over here. Uh, Depending on where Matsuri's vision of where they were doing all the like shading and all that jazz um, and it, it could usually I see this area as shadow this is the nose in the shadow because uh, you know the no nose will co bleh, will curve out and the closer it gets to the eyelids it'll like blend in more depending on like the person you're drawing some people you know have really blended in and steep noses or like a big nose bridge i have a bigger nose bridge um so it depends on where the light is coming from for this example i was just gonna put like the light source on this side of the nose and then like the shading on this side Sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but yeah. Um, Twitter is when they see a cat get a free plushie and sit. Dude, Jinx. Oh my gosh. I am so upset that Jinx is no longer posting. Jinx was my favorite cat ever. Oh, that's that's a pain. But yeah. I love Jinx, bro. There, there will never be another cat like Bigfoot Jinx. Um... Again, this doesn't have to be like super detailed with the mapping. Um, it's just, it's best to get some of the details during the mapping stage so that you don't have to worry about it so much when you get to the, you know, like the rest of the stage. Um, Jinx did nothing wrong. Oh, that's sick. Bouncing was sick. And you're red for some reason. <laughs> Or is it the music? Because the music was kind of hype, not gonna lie. Are you guys excited for the... What's it called? Pokemon Legends AZ? Or is it just Z? I don't know. Where? 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 Um... It'll get darker on this side. We don't have to worry about it. Eye folds? Probably just shade eye folds a ton. We'll mark this underneath the ear because it's underneath the hair and all that stuff. Um, what the heck? We're the same. You're this orange. Kutana. Well, now Kirby's red. I can't see the colors. What colors? <laughs> this hurts my eyes. Are you talking about the Twitch chat colors or the ones I'm drawing right now? I can change the colors if you need. Um, me when I'm colorblind. Um, I know the power of switching. Me when I play Nintendo Switch online. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a Twitch chat. No, your colors are wonderful. Oh, the colors aren't important right now because we're just mapping. But thank you. And now Kuma is orange. Look at what you've done, Kutara. Okay. Uh, get a little bit underneath the hair. Well, probably. I'm gonna refer to my old mapping. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> um, so underneath the eyelid, definitely shading. When I was recording this for Namco, um, I did change some of the things from when I originally did it. And I'm like, hmm, I disagree with that now. Um, okay. So, okay, I see what I was trying to do. Some of this eye part would probably be in shadow because it's underneath like the eyebrow part and then behind the nose, depending on it. Uh, the person and character. This part, probably right around here, would be less shaded. It'll probably blend into it more because, you know, there's a little bit coming into the hair, but it would probably, for the most part, be a darker shade. Uh, yeah, I think when you choose good colors, it helps showcase what you're doing super well. Great tutorial. We're interrupted. You're good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, hey, look, I'm Kutona. You're in and Kingdom Hearts. Look, that. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna say something. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm a little piss baby. Okay, anyway. Um, I'll move this down here a little bit because uh eyebrow brow folds, all that jazz. Eyelid fold right here. That's good. Bro. Don't worry about it. Um hey, okay. Yeah, for mapping, I choose like very saturated colors because it stands out and you're definitely not going to shade with super saturated colors because, oof, yeah. Kuma even, oh, Kuma got you even more. <laughs> oh wait, I should turn off that old one. Uh, also Seaside, and totally a female while consistently talking about male okay okay let's let's change the subject <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh sorry they're berating you gang it's called jokes um for this part so like i said earlier thinner strands of hair don't pick up too much light so we're not gonna map out the whole thing it's going to be blended more into the other uh the first shade so that it's just a little bit more darker because it is you know clumps up around here and then yeah jazz okay um could do these honestly for little strands of hairs i feel like the only thing you gotta remember is you know like how much light they would pick up but then also the darker or the closer it is to the actual source or you know further away it is from the light source it's like okay now we just then we get it darker but other than that it's like okay it's fine it's good this part would be dark because it's being covered up by the yeah the uh, headphones that's what they're called what is it frick you could <gasps> What's your profanity? These are two. It's like what I said. The gays make the straightest joke. Yes, and the straightest make the gays jokes. My friend who always jokes about, or who is gay always jokes about. That's what she said. That's what she said, bro. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um. Okay. I think that's good for darker shade. I could just like make this. Ah make this whole part right here shade that part in because uh just to for consistent stylized style yeah words um this part could be a little bit darker this part could be a little bit darker actually i think that's what i'm gonna mark like the little lip fold and then like the rest of this 
or maybe just do that for the first shade and then the cheek would be in the way like that we'll just get to that when we start the uh, shading and blending process i need water oh gosh guys be nice to each other or you're grounded i'm gonna mute all of you i hoard a bunch of fancy cans and then build a panzer i don't know how you would do that but that's kind of that sounds pretty epic not gonna lie even for me i don't even know what a panzer is i think that's the a tank but i shouldn't have said that or else kuma is gonna be like oh let me tell you about it <laughs> um okay so we have the first two shading so for the third shade this pink one that we're gonna map out is everything light literally cannot get to so for example this un ear part is underneath um a bunch of hair so there's not there's no way light could really get to it uh you could do underneath the eyelids and probably like blend it a bit just to give it a little bit more detail um before the countdown mm -hmm. tell me more about the countdown wait panzer dragon isn't that like a show or something uh little crevices like this not really like there's no way light could get on this side um and i mean you could just blend it to the other parts but yeah sometimes i like to just use this for a little bit of extra detail like how this area is going to be inside um a bunch of of the second shading and so it's going to be dark anyway but i still want to show that you know it could get darker there is a bunch of light and that this little fold uh frill is is casting shadow and is getting picked up by light although we could like mess with the shading for these so that it you know they look a little bit what is it thin translucent that's kind of like the subsurface scattering part but that's we're mostly just doing that for regular skin Panzer is german for tank oh yeah that's true uh, Germans just named their tanks, tank one, tank two, etc. Until Panzer V, which was the Panther, the Black Panther. Dude, Wakanda forever, bro. I love Wakanda. My guy. If you guys don't do the sign when saying Wakanda forever, I'm legit banning all of you. I take great pride in that that show. Uh, Countdown is an totally rejected Project Doomsday. Oh, tell me more. Uh, a little bit darker over here. Probably around the eyes. Because, you know, eyelid, all that jazz. Little, little extras. Here and there. In the in-betweens, basically. This part, you just gotta remember the in-betweens. Like, the, here's a here strip. A hair strand going this way and a hair strand going this way to the in-between gotta shade that part a little bit right here uh, yes just don't check minecraft when the countdown is done we should build a, a clock in minecraft there's so many like projects to do like um like a shulker farm an enderman xp farm iron farm gold farm uh i don't know a bunch of other ones this one would be completely covered by the headphone i like to do these little like kind of dimples and then um just to make it a little bit darker chin doesn't really need it um we could do directly behind the nose and its bridge um right here the little nostril yeah uh what is this oh ho twilight town in minecraft Usa. i'm gonna do that what's twilight town is that that kind of reminds me like the giant clock tower and majora's mask is that twilight town oh wait, wait no no that's like era 
or I don't know something like that unfortunate oh wait oh I didn't read this big one hold up now from the South Korean main battle tank is called K2 Black Panther <gasps> yo let's go and the only reason it's not is the best because of how expensive oh okay uh netherite farm there's not really netherite farms or diamond farms but you could do like a ton of war for both which just mines a huge area like really quick um Kriton, i found something in kingdom highest really in the center of the pregnant barter for gold do they oh wait you say you remember when peter pan clock tower kingdom heart oh of course it's kingdom hearts <laughs> you go gang okay from having so we got the three different shading and we got an ad going on but i can't skip it um so here are all here's all the mapping let me just compare each one to the previously because i'm really just i did not practice this i got on my computer to start working on um nam nam's video like tutorial video to make sure like okay everything's good and um and to start getting that but there this program is doing really good right now but even when i was like showing it to chuckles is that it is very delayed and sometimes the timing will be way off which i'm thankful right now it's good <laughs> i would cry um this is good I, yeah, I could make it all dark, I guess, but I don't know. I'll figure that out when we get to it. Um, so I figured streaming would be better um, just to make sure that I can actually get it out at a reasonable time at, for Nam Nam to watch. But the it's like the caveat between streaming and edit, video editing is that, okay, I can watch like a 30 minute video get what i need and go i'm good but then streaming you get to do it like alongside them but it just takes so long okay light source uh i made a kingdom hearts banner and put it that's so cool oh that's sweet maybe it's maybe that one is also cool wait what do you mean the entirety of <laughs> the entirety of, you're building the whole town you can just get rid of our our bases um i'm gonna put up the original shading first shade so that i can do like a good contrast between the two actually i'm going to add maybe like a little bit underneath the nose all right that's too light like this one oh there we go a little bit underneath the nose and it'll like whee. okay that's if i want to do that i don't know okay now the lighting so noses are kind of like a mountain if you think of it in like a high contrast one side will be completely um what's it called covered and the other side will be in light um now you know why i've been asking what your favorite game is ep to make custom banner oh thanks game oh uh, i wonder if there's like a pokeball one or something i don't know um smug kutona that would be great that'd be funny bear cave yes i can't wait to see bear cave kuma i can't wait till you finish it um hopefully i can see it um stuff too and you could both feasibly just different cool from each one huh oh like make a little bit of stuff pokemon base one yeah like a pokeball if you could somehow make jirachi in it i would freaking cry i would worship you um so noses this side of the bridge would get hit and i don't know i might just like hyper focus on people's faces to understand art sometimes but i don't know if you guys notice but sometimes when like the nose will curve and like there's a lot of contrast between light and shadow there will be like this little area right here around here that'll just be really shiny it's probably because people's face can be oh, a little shiny um oh you can say unless it one okay i would like to have this area a bit in light this area 
besides like the hair coming down i would like it to be in light too and then um blend its way over um maybe a little bit of the lips down here i marked it both in shadow and in lips but i'm like you know figure out when we get there but i do believe that at least on this side the top of the lips would be in light because the light source is coming from over here and then the top of the lips is getting hit because it's coming from the top now from the top make it drop um oh and then the cheek or jawline i'd like it to connect to yeah well, that's like too close but i'll just yeah widow it down a little or maybe i don't know during the tutorial i was really like iffy about a bunch of stuff and now i'm just zooming through it so now hopefully this is even better um and then we might add a little bit highlights here and there to like accentuate the curvature of the face maybe like make this side a lot brighter the top of these lips have a contrast between the shadow from the bottom of the lips to the top of it which makes it look even funnier and goofier um curvature from the light going this way yes um how do i do this let me double check with the other one because i'm pretty sure i didn't do as good of a job with the light on this one oh that's right over here an eye would be in this vicinity so maybe a little bit of eyelid would get some light here i wouldn't think so because the eyelid going that way and then if it was visible on this side definitely some light maybe um i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger this music is so classy mm, classy okay what are you guys talking about you say unless it does unless it is basically a better war thunder cheap hl i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> uh okay subsurface scattering this there's a couple things to remember when talking about subsurface scattering um so if you like right now get your phone and turn on the flashlight and put your finger on top of the light um the light will go through it kind of like the hair we were talking about earlier it's kind of like translucent and your skin will absorb some of the light and some of it will come out. So it gives it that glowing red um, look to it. Um, so that is one thing to remember. Here, I'll just like write a list. Uh, okay. I'm gonna turn the color palette off. Where is it? Right here. Oh. Uh, so, oh gosh. It looks my handwriting is already bad and it's even worse with the brush okay so first thing to remember is light um absorb yeah so subsurface scattering the light absorbs into your skin and slightly glows and then you could basically because you know it'll make it red and stuff like that you could do it around areas where there's a lot of blood so where your skin is thin like the tip of your nose or uh your cheekbones like where there's like a lot of stuff why why is it only playing pokemon rc's go 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 there we go uh you're talking about oh your favorite music or game okay uh lights and my mouth starts glowing glowing oh nice uh all i see is in my fingers a flashlight is a liquid sloshing around the side you should probably get that checked out um so oops yeah and i think like the thinner the skin or like the thinner the area the more 
the Mari gloves, I think. Because your, you know, fingertips are pretty thin, but if you put it up to, like, a face, there wouldn't be much glowing. Um, and then the third thing... What was the third thing? I'm pretty sure there was another one. I'll get to it if I remember. <laughs> this is so scuffed already. All of my streams will be scuffed. Okay. Oh, you mean it just says it's gravity? To see liquid inside of your body? I don't think you should be able to see that. Not unless you're like dead or something. I don't know. Okay. So, the nose. Oh! A third one was where there's a lot of the times where there's a lot of contrast between uh, light and shadow. That's just what I've seen. Um, so the nose, there's a lot of light on this side and a lot of shadow on this side. The lips has a lot of blood flow, plus they're just straight up red. And there's a lot of contrast between the two, so you could put just a little bit of dapple or a smidge of it on the lips. So she looks even more like a clown. The cheekbones, you can put a little bit of it. So the light is coming in from this side. The light would be absorbed on this side and it will shine through just a little bit on the shading side where I'm going to blend um, the light and dark. And then it will gradually fade out like this way. Um, Akami Oshi is graduate. Dude, I thought I was your Kamiyoshi. Hold up, I'm going, I'm gonna see if I can run VTuber Studio right now. Uh, oh, it's just updating. Okay, so while it's updating, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to, no, I'm your Kamiyoshi. You forget. Uh... Imagine paying 2000 for a doctor's appointment and just be told gravity's Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, some... Dude, some doctors are the biggest idiots. And sometimes they're actually helpful. And I feel like a lot of the times it's kind of like arrogance. Um, I'm going to put a little bit right here. Because this is when it thins out. Um... Yeah, I think that's good for now. We got everything planned out. Uh, environmental lighting, it's a different... F hmm. It, like, there's different ways of doing it, but let's say if there was a light bulb right beho behind her, and then the sun was shining in from this side. So, I would... And this also gives a little bit of a more 3D effect and depth. If you, you know, let, let's say little blue light behind her accentuates this side of her face. Maybe like a little bit on the nose. Probably not. I don't know. Depends on how big her nose is, but yeah. Um, what is it? Um, it looks like she's about to say what to say. Wait. He's about to say, want to see how I got these scars? Oh, <laughs> want to see how I got these scars? Chat, can we get a bunch of Joker emotes? Um, Valve survey, not right now, thank you. Okay, B2 Studio, work for me. Baby girl, come on. Uh, and Thoner isn't paying attention. Does she get sub? Oh, she, it's literally not her stream right now. <laughs> she doesn't have to pay attention. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can open YouTube Studio. Let's get on my phone. I don't know the last time I updated it. Okay. This even. Okay, I got my V2 model to work. Why isn't it capture specific model or window? Use V2 Studio. Use allow transparency. Yes. At least I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I can't see you guys' messages right now because why isn't it capturing it? Like if you cried chat. Um 
Oh, wait, does it have to be taller? Higher up? I don't know. Full screen application. Window with hotkey. I'm moving my face. Um, get back onto that. But if someone else, you pay better attention and see, see your grade. Thanks, Thanks games. The doctors and hospitals are very sketchy with help for. Uh, wait one second. Skip ad. Um, okay. Their poor practices and are actually just about everyone here in, in power is pretty stupid. Yeah, I think a lot of places are sadly like that. I've had to go to doctors, ask about a problem, and they're like, no, it's actually nothing. You don't need to worry about it, really. Or they can't figure it out. And then later on, it's like, hey, actually or like talk to a different doctor that doesn't have a stick up their butt because i've had to talk to too many doctors talk to a doctor near you how do you do the thing how do you do the vtuber thing um why is it oh wait i have a guess <gasps> nam nam i've been streaming just for you gang so i'm gonna keep the vod but then i'm also gonna post it when i get up or once it's done and i'll finish and all that jazz and then hey okay. where <laughs> i'm like breaking everything trying to figure out oh my gosh i'm huge that's the issue. That's why I can't find myself. Hold up. Um. Why can't I still... I still can't see myself. I'm breaking my stream just for you guys. Okay. Um. Bam. And then what up? What about me? Um. But yeah, I'm gonna upload the VOD once i'm done with the tutorial uh -huh. mm -hmm. dude where where am i okay maybe i should just delete it and then re get it okay all right this part is a bit scuffed but the next this is just like the intermission because of what is it called we're gonna have to get to the actual part where we're actually shading and stuff. Um, where is it? Capture window. Is it this? Okay, well, I'll probably just have to figure out how to get my VTuber model to work while on other things uh at a later time uh what if i switch to this ah wait i'm here chat i'm here oh oh i'm huge hello hello gang i made this in a week and kutoner you you can expect the scuff donut to be just like this really uh really weird okay okay Wait, what if I copy, copy this layer and then paste it up here? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. And now, holy crap chat, this is hype. This is getting hype. But I can't see your guys' messages if I'm doing this. How do I, okay. Okay, this is so scuffed, okay. Um, what brush do I use? I'm going to link that in the VOD uh, once I find it. Um, I uploaded it to Mediafire actually um, so that I can send it to you directly. Why isn't my mouth moving? I can't see chat while also on OBS, I think. Wait, what if I go like this? Okay. Uh, or Okay. Okay, this is even more scuff now. Okay, so the brushes I use 
are like Copic marker kind of stuff. So I typically use these two right here um, for the flats. Um, hold up, you know, like the flat color right here, the whole thing. I, you can use any just solid brush. I usually use this brush right here. I'm going to put all of these brushes into a file and then upload it to Mediafire and then send it to you as well as the original photo by oops by matsuri which was this so thank you matsuri and if you want me to get rid of this tutorial or whatever just tell me and yeah okay so now that we have all of the steps and planning done now we can get to like the actual part of coloring so um what i like to do for color picking because it can be a little bit difficult is i like to take the color of the base color and put this layer onto multiply and just color over it all right i'm gonna get a solid brush to color over it so i get a pure color and then take this color and then bam we got a good color right here so we went from right here all right here you want to move the hue a little bit so it looks a little bit i don't know not so bland you know um i'm probably gonna make it a little bit lighter uh let's just see how it looks when we start doing it so here we have a plan i'm gonna clip a mask our clipping mask it and then we have our guidelines that we can follow now w stream no w u Uma. oh i hope your uh music lesson goes well game hold up i wanted to adjust my youtube thing i can just pop it up whenever while still being able to look at um the chat El gato. Okay, now let's get our nice brush. I like this brush because it's very textured and it has like a weird movement to it. You see how it's like a rectangle and instead of like a circle or a square. It I just like those kind of brushes. It feels weird, but it gives it you know, you see how it's thick over here and then like thin over here. I like it like that. Yeah. Okay, let's follow our guidelines. And Nam Nam, of course, I'll be uploading the rest later so that you can watch it whenever you want. Um, and it says side, get this bigger. And then also these, it's the type of brush that like, the more you layer it, the darker it gets. Usually I don't like those brushes, but I like it for uh, coloring like this. It just, that way it makes it easier for like stuff like blending makes it easier for some areas to be darker while some areas to be lighter so you see how i was coloring over here and then coloring over here and then this area right here got darker if you don't want something like that you can just blend it out with the original color quick question what wow, what's up um actually uh since there's so many like detailed spots i'm gonna make this huge and then color over it you do two shadows i do three <laughs> and if you want you could do like a um a 1.5 shadow uh, let's clip this and then even then you gotta like color over it even more to make it darker you gotta blend it you could <laughs> there's there's so much that you yeah there's so much that i do that is a reason why this video has taken so long and the reason why i've been streaming this instead of working on the edits for the video is because the editing or the capture software was really laggy and it would be like twice as slow as when i was um talking so i finished talking long before it finished capturing the video and so it was just rough 
And so I'm like, you know what? I'm done editing this. I, <laughs> I'll just stream it and upload the VOD. I'm sorry it's long, but yeah. It, it, I, I can't, I can't edit that video, man. It's just so scuffed. The capture software is. Um, but you missed the most important part, which was the planning phase. Um, which is basically following a light source and anatomy kind of stuff and getting it all good and fine. And then you start coloring and drawing and all that stuff. Um, add. Shut up. Go, go, go. Yeah, I think it's going. Uh, how have you never played Little Mac? He's such a good character. I'm not really into those kind of fighters. Um, like uh, Ryu, uh, Kazuya, Harry. Like, I know. Like, I know freaking Kazuya's busted. And Harry, especially, too. But, like, I'm. To me, those characters are just not really fun to play. Uh, the manga people put blue lines and green lines on light shade. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. You can send that to me. But, um, if I were to guess, it's probably, um, planning. So, like, uh, the only, like, green and blue lines I've seen, um, is, what should I call it? Like, animators. Where you look at the behind the scenes, like panels, that animation, you know, like what goes into animation and all that jazz. It's like, yeah, that is, that's good because they're planning on what the shadows are supposed to be placed and all that stuff. Um, and then, what should I call it? And this art process, the planning kind of process is you, you i already said it earlier but like you do not have to do this every single time you want to draw it's just do it for like the big projects if you want it to look good so that it, or like extra good or extra fancy or whatever so that it's you know as well thought out as you can get it to be and then, hold on, I'm like focused. I'm like, is this place right? Um, because like the planning stage is really most of the heavy lifting. Um, and you plan it and then you just color over it. That's, that is basically this process. But the blending and um, where you want to keep the pieces or whatever, the shadows and all that jazz, that is kind of the tedious part. And then, um, yeah, I forgot what else I was going to say. Yeah, but you also don't play Duck Hunt, which makes no sense. Duck Hunt's not fun to me either. A lot of like uh smash 4 characters i did not care for i like a lot of like the melee characters like uh mewtwo ice climbers are like those are kind of fun to me but i just don't care for the other ones um so now that we have like the general guidelines um again usually when doing art and stuff you shouldn't like zoom in so much but I'm just doing it for tutorial and because it's a bad habit. <laughs> but um, has my model been picking up like my face when I like look down and talk? I wonder. Um, melee is mid though. Nah, it's literally the second best Smash game. <laughs> uh, wait, why not? Why not? Um. Why not what? What are you talking about? And then one layer for every shadow. Yeah, some people do it in like different ways. I like it very organized because you know that like art meme where uh, 
let's say i have a black dot right there and then i'm like okay <laughs> where is it and then i have to like hunt through it that is tedious but at the same time i like it being very organized and i don't have to like worry too much about it um burp. but yeah there's a couple different ways of shading this is how i like it it's the second worst smash game that is just factually incorrect uh why not zoom in it really depends on your program but like um what do you want to call it like when you zoom in you see how pixelated this is you can literally see the pixels and stuff there's this one program i think it's like an adobe program maybe like illustrator photoshop i don't know something like that that it doesn't get pixelated the closer you get into it but at the same time you want to see how your art piece looks as a whole you want to focus on the overall look of it and then um and then get into the nitty gritty details and like even with traditional art you don't want to be so focused on like super zoomed in so that you can see how it looks all together and then but for me i'm like i'm just doing an art tutorial and i've already like done the piece and stuff i've already like done the mapping and stuff and i'm not i'm mostly focused on shadow placement and how it looks i'm not looking to make it the best art piece ever so that's why oops oh me oh my oh crap i i lost the freaking color huh um let's get back to it and it's important to slide your hue uh we all know it goes brawl smash wii u smash 3ds ultimate melee and the 64 i would say smash 64 is better than brawl like mechanics wise the storyline brawl is like top um but other than that you just trip randomly i really tried to get rid of the competitive scene it is so stupid um okay let's erase like a little bit of the defects uh a little bit oh, it, it's okay okay now comes the blending part we're gonna do this for every single uh what's it called every single shadow oh and we're doing uh because you missed it earlier nam nam for shadow one we're doing everything that is not in light because that's like a pretty you know that's what shadow is usually typically you can disable tripping i'm pretty sure you can disable it with mods though <laughs> and then yeah brawl is fun but i remember like i had my cousin over and um I was like, do you guys want to play ultimate or do you want to play brawl or something? And they're like, oh man, let's play the old stuff. Let's play brawl, which is funny because I grew up with like melee and brawl. But, um, and so they played brawl and it, it was just not fun <laughs> compared to ultimate. In my opinion, it was just not fun. Old. Yeah. They said it was old, which is kind of crazy. Um, so important things to remember uh actually i'm gonna make this a little bit more harsh or yeah so important things to remember for shading is when to use hard shadows and when to use soft shadows so for example small details like like under this eyelid you it's not gonna make too much of a difference whether it's shaded or hard shadow but it shows up more clearly if it's a hard shadow um for small details so but then um actually no i'm not gonna make this hard because the face slowly transitions from the nose into the cheekbones so i'm gonna blend that a bit 
Uh, how old is Brawl? Brawl is the best modding community. I would say either Brawl or uh, Ultimate. Um, yeah. 20 years old. I don't think it's quite 20 years old yet. I think in like 2026 or 2027. Maybe. But Melee is 2001. And that was my first Smash game. And I absolutely love it. And like, yeah, it was so good. If I have a 3D toy, I would not have a problem where to put shadow placement. That is true. Um, so something to remember with shadow placement, it's like, yeah, anatomy helps a lot and it's good, but, and like looking at references is very important and all that stuff. But I don't know if you're like a tactile learner, kind of like me, like you gotta, keep your hands moving in order to like actually remember how to do stuff you can literally feel the curvature of your face or look in a mirror and then be like okay um it curves this way and it's kind of a smooth transition actually now that i'm feeling my freaking face cheek uh next to my nose it's not such a smooth transition but then again you look at anime the face is more flat all that uh a later kuma take care uh be safe don't talk to drugs and something yeah puppy ratio <laughs> but yeah so i think being able to feel like the curvature of wherever you're trying to draw like the face for example because we're only doing the face today it's like okay there there's a big curvature difference between uh the cheekbone and the nose but then anime is really weird with like faces and they usually make it flat while everything else is super detailed it's so dumb um so i try to keep it good um yeah if you're a good tactile learner you can just be like okay it curves this way i know my light source is coming from this way so I'll, I'll just do that um another reason why zooming out is good is especially for blending because if i'm zoomed in and my brush is low it it would just get like just a little bit of it and you see how in this area right here there was like a little bit right here just punching into it into the not not so subtle and all together that's a really bad way to describe it but yeah use a bigger brush i can slowly fade into it um i got everyone in ingot and an upgrade oh thanks game uh playing melee is like whipping and sandpaper i like how the technical side of melee is so much fun but it's so hard to get like good at and into um with the uh, little details because this brush gets darker the more you like use it in like certain areas i'm doing that for the little details and i'm gonna do it later on like the shading kind of parts um or like the places that need a lot of blending so that it just looks like a smoother transition altogether like underneath the eyelid there's not a lot of like space or light to come underneath oh, the eyelid. So it's like, okay, I'll shade that area too. Um, this area, the brow is covered. I'll shade that in too. And it can be even messy and look fine. Uh, playing million, I just want to play casual smash and racing games, not a smash sweat. That's valid. And I think it's really dependent on like each of the you know each how people like to play and on their mood and stuff for example as a kid i hated ice climbers it was the dumbest thing ever they're so weak and whatever and then now that i'm older i'm like you you can move two characters at the same time and bully someone with it that's crazy and so it's like 
but I don't play them all the time because I don't want to be a sweat all the time, you know? I just want to like chill sometimes. And so I think it really depends on the player and like their mood and what they're up to. Uh, for like hair strands and stuff, the closer the hair are, uh, uh, oops, the closer to the source of the hair, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker because that's where most of it. Uh, Luigi has main since my beginning. I played. What was my main? I played. I've always played like a bunch of different characters, but I think my first character that I was like, this has to be my main, was Captain Falcon. I think, and I think that was by the time I hit Brawl. Um, so I got another topic marker. And I lowered its opacity because the thinner, let's say like a hair strand, because it's a little bit more translucent, uh, the less light it's going to pick up. So you could just brush over it just a smidge so that you can still kind of see it from afar, but it's such a thin piece of hair that it's not going to pick up too much light. Um, let's blend that a little bit. Slightly darker. My secondary has changed slowly over time. Luigi. Um. I really should not be giving art tips. <laughs> like, I really need to be practicing like anatomy and stuff before being like, oh yeah, that's just what I do. I'm a, I'm so pro. Mm. Um, these hair strands are gonna be, even though they fade out a little bit because they're thin. Uh, they're going to be more of a hard shadow uh, because it's a thin hair strand. Is you know, there's a uh, how do I how would describe this? I think I did so much better in my video, like describing things. But that's because I actually planned, and then I lost the notes for this. But I'm gonna make this area darker because of cheeks getting further and further away from the light source hard and the cheeks slowly like go towards the nose and it's super far away from the nose maybe i'll make it a hard shadow maybe not that really depends on stylization but then also um what you're kind of drawing so for example like anime like I always say, their faces are typically flat. They're pretty boring, in my opinion. And so, if they're flat, it'll be more of a smooth transition. But if they're more bumpy and curved, it'll be more of a thicker transition. This will look better with a little bit of the light coming into it too. Um, darker. Yeah. Okay, hey. um, but yeah, hard light, soft light, gotta keep that in mind. Oh, and the closer an object is to its source, you would, if you put a light source right next to your finger, not on top of your finger, and then put it right next to a wall or like a desk, you would see that shadow very vividly and it would be a, considered a hard shadow. Whereas the further away you get from it, both light source and from whatever the shadow is being casted onto, it would be more, um, more blurry. And that's the same with these hair strands because they are close to the face, but it's, they're also very, hair strands there's so many strands it can be again you can see through hair sometimes very thin and wispy wispy and so it's like light does get through to it so they wouldn't be too the thinner they get not as much shadow gets picked up my secondary main in 64 was captain falcon and melee it was roy and Brawl, it was Lucas. On Wii U, it was Cloud. And 3DS, it was Bowser Jr. And Ultimate is Min Min. 
you have a secondary ma dude every character is my secondary main i don't have a main <laughs> yeah um captain falcon's pretty goaded in if i remember he's good in 64 although he's gotten better over the years i think pikachu and kirby have been the best in 64 roy and melee my friend or no my brother really liked roy because it was like he has a sword and it's on fire like that's super cool and so i played roy kind of often because of that and then um and then i probably played mewtwo most in melee as a kid um brawl i love lucas i think it was captain falcon though i didn't play wii u or 3ds if i were to choose a character from that time what characters came out from that time can you can you send the list in the chat of all the characters that came out um and little mac is definitely not my main <laughs> oh oh disgusting um i'm gonna color make it a bit darker underneath the neck because the light source typically necks are like the cast shadow from the head um the light's coming up from above and the head sticks out just a smidge from the neck enough to oops that looked kind of gross enough to cast a shadow onto not a super like crazy shadow but yeah um i'm also going to detail the wait where's my i haven't been doing this the whole time oh i like kind of did every character in which game it's um smash 4 every in every smash game i went against someone i would know and i would always go roy i would pick samus and it's been back to back like like back to back Roy against Samus kind of thing. And it, are you playing against the same person every time a new game comes out? Yeah, a little bit. But get darker. This would be a hard light because it's kind of close to its source. Um, and although you could like debate whether this fabric is translucent or not. Um, burp. Uh, that was a weird burp. Whether it's translucent or not, I'm just going to make it darker the closer it gets to the source. Um, corner would be dark because there's not a lot of light coming to it. Um, do you want returning characters to Smash Bros? No, just brand new Smash characters that came in. Um, I'm going to get a big brush and I'm going to zoom out this bit and make it blend and i'm gonna get darker and f further out the more i go and then blend oops this a little bit bigger and then blend that so that it looks like it fades and blends into it eep eep what do you have a question erp or are you saying that because i burped and i and you're making fun of me i mean back to back as in i in a tied game or no, no, no just the new characters that came in, like uh, Little Mac or Cloud or Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, a little bit darker right here, even though you can't see it much. Uh, just trying to make it so that barely see it get a little bit darker. Um, I'm going to get darker in the dimples because there's not too much light right here. I think this one sticks out. Oops, too big. Sticks out just a bit much. Um, I'm gonna do it on this side too and because this side is already in shadow the first shadow I'm gonna darken underneath the lips because the light source is coming from above and so the top of the lip oops I've done it all all lips but the top of the lips like up here would hit light whereas the bottom of the lips would get just a smidge darker um I'm gonna do the same underneath the lips because there's a little bit of cast underneath from the top of the, the top lips, but not too much. 
this just a deep one. I'm gonna get this a little bit darker because of the curvature of the chin a bit. And I'm gonna add the curvature of the face, side of the face at least, just a little bit for little details. Um, and then this part is going to be kind of subtle, but I'm going to add curvature right here in the middle, just randomly. And because if you like feel your face, your chin sticks out a little bit more. And so your face kind of just curves onto that and then curves up into the cheeks up here. The cheeks and um because of that curvature and it's furthest away from the oh, it's a bit big furthest away from the light source i'm going to blend it just a bit i might even like i'm also blending a lot of like the original shading color like over here into it so that it gets a bit lighter and so that it's just such a very much subtle shade that you can just barely see um i hate water Ooh. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. that's the that's a noise i imagine uh you love water you hydrate it every time your keyboard hates it yeah i can't believe i reached over to say something in the ep's chat and then had to spend like 30 minutes cleaning water off my neck dude namco just predicted that i'm so sorry gang <laughs> That's rough. Wait, how did you do the reply thing? I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Bowser Jr. Don't really care for. Rosalina, don't really care for. Lucina, she... I prefer Marth because of his tipper and that teaches uh, spacing better, in my opinion, because it's such a, like, a gimmick. It's kind of more fun. Blech. Sorry, I needed water. Uh, Robin is all right. Um, Little Mac, don't like him. Cloud, he's cool. Shulk is, eh. Bayonetta is interesting, but I don't care for him. Ryu is, he's okay. Villager is kind of annoying, but okay. Um, Mega Man, don't care for it. Pac-Man, he's interesting to watch, but I don't care to play him. Corrin is interesting. Uh, the three Mies, that's that's just fun just to mess with people um duck hunt don't like them we fit it's fun watching Jax's we fit but like and it's fun watching like people get like that interesting volleyball spike but i don't really care to play them um greninja is kind of fun specifically because of the shadow thing dark pit it's the same as pit so he's okay um it's all good hit reply button then it's it stretch no i already did my stretches i'm hurting from the <laughs> it's a pain you have to use a, a loo but oh kudona i just want you to know uh i don't know if you saw earlier but if you look at the top left and see like my scuff model it's like oof so i want you to know the scuff donut is going to be like scuff like this if i can remember how to make like models again so yeah uh oh he's interesting to watch since our doubles team puff and pack yeah dude have you seen those freaking um what's it called the double hero it's there's a guy named um amari who does double heroes and they are the funniest clips to watch but yeah Freak yeah. Re okay, what do you want me to draw? And also, no, no freaking bad word. I'm gonna bleep you out. Yeah. Uh, what do you want me to draw? And then, what? That's a scuff? No freaking shucks. Um, okay, what do you want me to draw, Namco? Even though I'm really bad if I just don't have a bajillion references. Okay, so I think we're good with the first shadow. Um, what should you call it? I'm gonna take the original color. I think this is what I did. Oh wait, no, I did. Oh crap. I'm not done with the first shadow. Hold up. Hold up, everybody. We're so close. 
Um, I just want to do a few more details, like the nose, um, and that little lip that connects from the nose. Um, I want that to be more detailed because there's like that little curvature. And well, you could do like the extra, you know, because there's like got the whole middle part, and then it gets lighter and all that. You could do that. I don't really care too. It's anime. It shouldn't be too bad or too detailed. Um, underneath the nose, important because oh, I don't. Shadow the Hedgehog. Ugh. Ugh. Maria. Uh, the nose looks a little weird. I I could just spend a bajillion years trying to get the perfect nose, but I don't really care to. Although I say that, and I'm probably gonna do that now. Um, get this little area uh, curved a little bit down here. YouTube Premium is ad-free YouTube. Okay, I think that's all together. All right, like that. <gasps> I like this. Yeah, that looks a little bit too detailed <laughs> for. Ooh, this looks like an old man. Okay. What did you guys say? Does can you draw me draw a a uh uh draw kutona me draw kawaii kutona uu rar xd rar? Oh, uh, I mean I can try. It's gonna be really bad. I can try maybe detailing that old uh you know that like series I did with like you, Dax and Carb where you guys were in maid outfits, and I made them like super like uu and then you like really jacked. <laughs> I'll I'll do that. Okay. So for second shading or the second shadow, we're doing everything that is in um what's it called? Cast shadow. So everything that is casting a shadow onto another thing, like the hair or the nose. Um but let's get the color. I took the original shadow color. I don't know how I feel about it. Um move this hue a bit. Hey, Hugh. Um, that's too detailed for a scuff. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I like it. I like that uwu reverse. We need that like uwu Minecraft texture pack. I'm gonna move this down and slightly less saturated. Um, the more saturated something becomes, the more like intense the colors. I don't really care for it, depending on the style. So let's get our second shadow layer up. Uh, let's let's do that easy blend up here. Oh, that's too unsaturated. That's like that weird makeup saturated. I think that's good. Um, I'm going to add channel points and you can redeem them. And the highest one is going to be redeem 10,000 for Kerbo to put on the maid outfit. Yep. Mm hmm. What do I do? Okay. Uh, I'm going to lower this opacity by a ton because it's a little difficult to see. Um. I'm gonna make this area a little bit darker because it's uh what is it ambient inclusion so there's like no light coming into it these might be kazoos and they might be annoying to some people but i really like this song i haven't played outer wilds but i really like this i like their music a lot I'm gonna make it slightly darker over on this side that it gradually gets darker the further away it gets from the light so like make this shorter this is also much up here like actually this is annoying me this line i think is a little too harsh 
too much of a hard line. That's good enough. It's still a little hard, but like it's good enough. Um, two coin or points. Hot take: Terry is the best Smash character because it's perfect. For I don't know. I really like Captain Falcon's voice lines, or like uh, Falco's. What is it? Down smash. Whatever taunt. Uh, no, you will not have that as a redeem. Oh, too bad. Banger. Oh no. Can it get much higher? So high. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, the Pokemon uh, Legend Z or whatever. The the first meme I see of it is um, Whitebeard from One Piece saying. Legend Z! The Legend Z is real! Because, you know, there was always rumors about it. Like, we have X and Y, what about Z? Where's the third game? Blah, blah, blah. And so, that is lovely. I'm gonna add just a little bit of hard shadow on this side. Just so it sticks out a bit. Yeah. Uh huh. Can I get my child so high? Isn't that a song by Kanye West? Can't remember. I learned that one piano chord and then I looked at my brother and was like, try to guess the song. And then I played that piano card and he was like, I hate you. Um, down taunt, down smash is where he says, hands off my prey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Man, I remember finding that out for the first time in like 2019. Doing that with my roommates. So this whole area is probably going to be in a darker shadow. We're going to blend. Um, here, I'll hover over it once I'm done with this. We're gonna blend this part um, and progressively get darker um, over time for the brow. Shading on the brow. Most of this stuff is gonna be blended. Sounds like a racing soundtrack. It is, it's called Ridge Racer. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna cover this part up too and then make this area darker. Because it's already, I don't know why I didn't do it, but I don't think I shaded it earlier um, when I first went over it. And then get it. No, that's too dark for the whole thing. Yeah, I'll just blend it. Whatever. Um, maybe like this whole thing right here darken. I don't know. I'll get back to it. Let's get the little details of the hair. Uh, how's your guys' day? What y'all been up to? Oh wait, are you streaming today, Kuthana? I kind of just like impulsively started streaming, and so if you guys, if you are, you guys can go watch that, and then you too, Nam Nam, and then I'll keep the vod uploaded so that you can follow along or yeah, all that jazz. If you guys don't gotta worry about it. Oh god, bar bar. Yes, sir. Okay. Little details. A little bit of the mouth, especially like the dimples, because it's like. He's still finishing cleaning the keyboard. How do you know this? I probably don't have to do it right there. Um, the smallest brush I can get for this little guy. And right here. Make that a little bit darker to show nostril. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Hold up. I'll go. I think that sticks out too much. But it's such a small detail. And like people's noses do curve like this. 
But yeah. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> okay. There's always something funny about using hero and killing at zero. Is psyching someone up using snooze, hatchet man, and using crit immediately kamikaze by accident right after. Small detail. Small details matter, my guy. And Kerbo, you really need to watch Amari on YouTube. He is such a troll that it he has the best hero clips. Doubles hero. Um I literally like discovered him like a day or two ago. Uh this nose is gonna be scuffed. Sometimes oh, noses sometimes bother me. Especially like this. Small. Ah. Uh, and then like nose is curved down like that. Then I don't wanna add that detail. I wanna make it round. And like my stick out a little bit more why the music cut off now oh, that's too much uh, wait what did you say name uh, small detail who do you think is the most unique smash character for me it's steve because he's crafty he is very video pause continue watching did i say stop um, yeah, Steve is very unique. Hero is pretty unique. Um, ice climbers are pretty unique simply because of how difficult the level, like the technical level it takes to play them. I really love ice climbers. I used to hate them so much as a kid. Um, also, someone tested how durable the dirt is. You can't falcon punch it? That's ridiculous. Is some blocks more durable than others? I don't know. I'm gonna blur this a little bit, even though it should be like a hard light. I'm blurring it a little bit because it will fade into the cheeks. I got a piece of bread, bro. I hate Steve. Yeah, honestly, Steve is kind of boring to watch, especially. And you're gonna hate this, Kerbo, but I have seen, like, I swear every Luigi clip I see, it's the exact same combo. And it is the most annoying thing ever. Like, it irks me just like, um, just like Steve, like trying to watch Steve. Something like that. It's that like you use, you grab down air and then you are grab down throw down air and then like grab again and keep doing that until you like up, like do your up B or whatever. And it's like, that is just so I would, I thought it was so cool the first time I saw it, but then it kept going. And it's like every Luigi clip I've ever seen. And it is the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's my hot take. <laughs> this normal dirt, that sounds like pain. That is crazy. But I do wonder if some blocks are more durable than others. And yeah, Steve is kind of annoying to play as also. This elytra thing is annoying, but it's interesting. Like if you can get it right. Um, I don't think I'm gonna darken the cheek over here. Um, this is getting like really scuffed. Usually I'd take like more time and like precision and care. Why you both hate Steve? I don't hate him, but he's just annoying at times i mean he's like a cool character and i'm very glad he's in smash but he can be very annoying that's why when i did the last smash event i got steve i eliminated you first just so i could quickly oh yeah in the steve fight yeah i don't remember that 
or what event it was, but that sounds right. <laughs> I'm gonna darken this area a little bit. Wait, I'm gonna get the ear pretty dark too. Uh, when you chose Captain Falcon. Oh yeah, when you guys were going random and I chose Captain Falcon. I was so like, ah, I don't like these characters. And then last night playing these characters, I'm like, I already feel like crap. And then I'm playing freaking Duck Hunt and Little Mac. It was so annoying to play. <laughs> <laughs> Kutana stream canceled the keyboard. Wait, did she actually cancel it? I wonder if I could get. Uh oh. Wait, did she actually break her keyboard? If she did, I would feel so bad for her. Because first, the. Uh. What's it called? First, her car or whatever. No? Oh. You chose him because you couldn't win? Yeah, I couldn't win. And you guys kept winning. I was like, ah, please, please let this work. Um, uh, stream delayed a bit, just spilled my water. I'm so sorry, Kutana, if you're listening. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but I'm laughing at you. Okay, I'm gonna lighten this just a, oh, that is not lighten. I'm gonna lighten this just a bit. It's a bit too intense. And especially because I'm not taking as much like time and detail for it. Um, I think we're... Usually the second, the first and second shadows, especially the first, would be the most important shadows to place. Because they really get, they really tell you what the vibe is, what you're doing. I'm gonna darken this just a smidge and blur it. Uh, um, I was gonna keep that like a a blurred line. Um, maybe or like a hard line, but now I'm blurring it so that there's more details in the face. I'll go back. I get a hard line again. Um, lighter. Bad thing about these kind of brushes, it's like the double-edged sword. It's like it's good and bad. Is that it's very directional based. Um, don't know how well these brushes will do good. Um, on your program, whatever program you use. I think you use Ibis, if I remember. Um, don't know how well or if it's compatible at all, but hopefully they are. I'll send it to you after. Um, please Jigglypuff or all Jigglypuff. I love Jigglypuff. He's, er, that's so fun. Uh, didn't we cheese you? Out of everyone last time. I don't remember, but I was like, come on guys, I just want one win. <laughs> you know? Um Right now This is kind of the stuff you don't really plan for. Is the little little details that people most likely will not notice unless you like show them that you're doing it or like exclusively pointed out um shut up youtube and so it's like uh there we go so it's like yeah it probably doesn't matter but i want a little bit more detail a little bit more oomph you know my g that's a little too dark actually There you go, that kind of works. Um, didn't we you, you got all good characters. Maybe good characters for you guys. And if you guys are cheesing me, it doesn't matter if I have good characters or not. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not very good at Smash. I keep, like, I'll get into, like, 
the addiction phase of Smash, and then it, it's like, I'll play it over and over. I'm just not very good at it. Um, fighter. This, I think I completely forgot about this part. Usually this would be like a hard light. I'm just blurring it so this middle area can be together a little bit more. And like, hard light it like this. Bro. I don't like it. I don't know. This, this is an area where you just mess around. You got Bowser and Roy. Yeah, I don't like those. I don't play those characters. I don't usually use them. Um, I don't know why this line is here. Okay, let's get to the third shadow. So for the third shadow, you just go into each of the darkest areas. Um, where there's no way light could possibly get to it. Um, um, let's get our guidelines. So this area of the ear is cut. It's furthest away from the light and it's also underneath the, uh, underneath the hair. And so there's no way there's gonna be light. They're good uh, guaranteed wing characters. Dude, the last time I played Roy was Melee in like 2005. <laughs> um, and then Bowser, I've never been good at him, but I've never been good against him either. Yeah. And honestly, every time, the only times I make, um, what's it called? The only times I've been good at like Bowser is when I'm with Puff. And I'm just juggling him around. But well, not all the time because he could like one hit KO. But yeah. Honestly, I only really play against like CPUs. Um, I don't really play online because people are just way too good. And yeah. Uh, EP make a tier list, a smash tier list, a smash or pass tier list. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, playing melee in 2005, you're old. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit old, but I was also like four or five. <laughs> In my defense, I had no idea what I was doing. I only played them because like um, my brother would be like, oh, sortie and fire. That is epic. And you know, as kids, you know, like fire is cool. Swords are cool. So I was like, oh, Roy is so cool. I'm going to play. Oh, I am going to mute real quick. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just got like a random call. Hold on. Um, okay. I got a pee. 23 to 24 years old come from. <gasps> oh, I need water after doing that. Oh. Okay. So I was calling, even though I kept going. My bad. Um, so. I wanted this dark line to, even though it's supposed to be like nooks and crannies where there's no way light is gonna get to, I wanted to do underneath the chin um, to make it look even in this dark area that there will be at least some semblance of a shadow right here. Um, and I don't know if this song is copyrighted, but if it is, I'm gonna be so upset. This I absolutely love this song. And 
dreams of absolution even though they're like 10 20 years old those songs still hold up no cap bruv uh right here there's no way light would get into it uh just blur this um so even though that's the rule of if there's no light that's when you do the uh darkest shadow or whatever um you can just do little details here and there to make sure like okay it sticks out a little bit more it's more unified that way so we've got all of le shadow le chateau um oh yeah uh we yes this song is hype too my girlfriend called me and was like you didn't respond i hope you're okay and i'm like oh i forgot to tell you i'm streaming my bad <laughs> so sorry about the interruption but he's doing good too that's good to check out yeah um that little little dark areas where literally the nooks and crannies where lines collide or little details like that these hair strands are colliding right here so i put dark hair right here or dark color um and also you could probably do um what's it called because i'm coloring over a picture that matsuri made um right here i can't do the colored lines without whatchamacallit i can't color over the lines without just coloring over all of it and so because of that i'm not gonna show you how to like do the coloring over the lines but basically you would make some areas darker than others and you'd use a lot of blending it's pretty much the same thing you know uh leave it to ep to leave his girlfriend no <laughs> Here, I'll
Okay, hello. So I didn't do the unplug and replug, but for some reason, every time I do anything with this mic, whether I mute or unmute, plug or unplug, it automatically just mutes. And I'm like, okay, thanks. I didn't want that. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, let's move on to the light source. Uh, your cheekbones stick out. So one side will be lighter, the other one. But because they're round, it'll be more of a blend between the light and the dark and not so sudden. Um, your jaw would be more in the light rather than the other one. Um, your nose would stick out a lot more compared to uh, you know, the other side because your nose sticks out a lot. Uh, shut up, you two. How many times do I gotta say a boy? Boy? Okay. So, and then the top of the lips, right above the top lips where they curve down. You know, if that makes any sense. I'll get to it. So, let's get this jaw part because it's gonna be the easiest. Uh, maybe I should make it even lighter. I usually don't like super light, but I think it'll be better for the overall image. Whoa, Namco, take it easy, man. I mean, I agree, but take it easy. Come on, man. As Nacho Libre would say, take it easy. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Pop that off. Okay. That part with the jaw should be easiest. Let's see how it looks without the guidelines if it's too jarring. Um, it is kind of jarring. I'll go back to that first. Uh, so how's it going? How are you guys' these days? Get that jawline. And then also we will get we'll erase some of like the shadow parts and then we'll blend the other parts um especially like the jawline and the cheekbones and cheeks get a little bit of that but right here nam nam i'm so sorry that um that I resorted to streaming a tutorial instead of editing one because I know the video and tutorial process would be so much quicker with just like the video editing but man my program was so bad at least when I first recorded it um your day's boring yeah mine's been a little bit boring too and so I'm like yeah I'm just gonna stream because I <laughs> I was like, I need to do something. I need to work on the video for Nam Nam. And then I look at it, I hear how behind the visual is from the audio and how it just messes up so much. And I'm like, no, I'm streaming. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, mostly fight CPUs. Uh, level seven, just to like chill and have fun. Um, and then level nine, if I am like really trying to like understand a character, but yeah. Um, fading in real time is much help. Yeah, the video, I was trying to cut out all the parts of like, uh, uh, or where I'm just rambling or saying the same thing over and over, but the, um, with that being said, <laughs> uh, I also wanted to keep parts where I was showing you the process and taking like time with it and how I do it. And it, it was so laggy behind what I was talking about that I just could not catch it up. And I'm like, I, I can't do this game. I also just realized I didn't shade the chin earlier then would be shaded a bit a bit just a little bit 
Take this blend into this upper one. Uh, you could. This is another one of those like small shading details that I would be like, you really don't have to shade it. Your lips does have like a very um, big curve where, you know, like right here, where you don't need to sh do soft light shading for it. But yeah, I edit it just slightly. So it's a little bit more curve. There we go. Looks a little weird, but it's fine. But yeah, because you have that dip in your lips, like right above in the middle. <clears throat> uh, I usually do seven or eight too. Yeah, could you imagine if I only fought level C three, level three CPUs because the others are too difficult? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that as a kid. So like, I know Smash tries to be like really balanced between like competitive at least nowadays and uh anyone can pick it up and play and it's like that's fun and all but man do the <laughs> do people's skill levels vary like i would i would like to be good at smash and like have a lot more fun do cooler clips but like i'm just not good at it and then as a kid Oh man, I could not keep up with my brothers. And then by the time I was finally good at enough at Smash to keep up with my brothers, ah, dude, they did not come out well. <laughs> or they just stopped playing. And then even now, even though they don't still play, um, they, they still don't play and all that. And I still struggle against them, even when I do play regularly. <laughs> So I'm just not good at this game. Um, I mean, now when I could go against all of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, struggle against level C3 CPUs. I keep wanting to say, like, C3PO. Whatever that, like, Star Wars dude name is. Um, I did a little bit on top of the top lips. Or the lips curve just to give it a little bit more detail you can make it really bright not soon maybe i think i need more shading like a thicker shading around here to stand out better against it um could even go like this this lip some people's lips kind of do do that um i put this little one right here you guys people typically have like greasy noses and uh, that area curves that part. I don't know why every time I observe someone that part is often shiny uh, Let me blend the nose a little bit Oops um, Not super jarring I think that's good um, Yeah so, if I were to change anything, well, this cheek doesn't look too great. Hold up. What if I make this a hard shot? Or hard ish? Eh. I think it looks fine either way. I think my first attempt doing it, or second attempt. Honestly, I'm not good at this and Mario Kart at all. Hey. I think you're like the best one. That's crazy how Kutona is like good at um, Smash, but kind of struggles with Mario Kart. I mean, Mario Kart is kind of easy. And it's like, eh, whatever. But then the game I want to be good at, I struggle. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, how it works, how it all works. Okay. So now that we finished like the lighting, uh, shading, now you would basically just do like the little details of um my phone's about to die i'm gonna turn off the what's it called v vtuber model sorry gang but um i'm going to right now you would go for like little details like how i would want like the lips to be a little bit darker and brighter just like more thick and then um 
you know like fix this cheek maybe add like little bits of light here and there just to like give it more extra depth to it you can barely see it but like there's a little bit extra but um so during this whole process you would go through a bunch of details as you go typically uh, a lot of different blending all that jazz now i could probably blend this cheek oops and then you just get to a point that you're satisfied with it and all that jazz and then if you want to go even further we got subsurface scattering i'm gonna use this color maybe possibly um i don't think nam nam was here i think you got a notification yeah uh it's a stupid carbonation notifications they just talk so much um let me turn the notifications off uh there we go sorry about that i didn't think you guys could hear that but anyways i prefer sonic and all stars racing transform i used to have i think it was sonic all stars racing on the phone and i love that thing i also had like asphalt but yeah asphalt seven eight and then nine i think and i haven't played in years um so next we're doing subsurface scattering oh wait i didn't blend that at all whatever i don't care actually i do care so as i was saying earlier i think before nam nam joined was subsurface scattering things to keep in mind is oh, i think i deleted it um when there's really thin skin like your nose cheekbones lips fingertips or if there's like a lot of blood flow like your lips your nose or if you want a lot to differentiate contrast between the shadows and the lights uh tips of the nose would typically you know have subsurface scattering anyway just a little bit i'm making this really detailed but you don't need to do this with the with the lips you could put it in between these lights and darks but because i didn't well i mean i didn't do like the shading and light part very thick so it wouldn't really do much to it um but yeah let's blend it a little and then go over this make it lighter oof Honestly, sometimes you don't even need to blend the subsurface scattering because it's just a line and it adds just a hair. And because it's so little, you don't really need to do a whole ton to it. And I think this is too far to the left. Or I mean the right. Oh. A little blur. So just observe subsurface scattering a good way like i said earlier turn on the flashlight on your phone and then put your finger up to it um keep it like that because the shadow's already dark uh in sonic i can usually lap two real people two real people one to two times yeah yeah i used to be really good at it too um I wonder if it's still available on like the app store or whatever. Okay. I think I'm gonna lower this a bit because it's at least compared to the rest of the lip, it's sticking out too much. But I would want like the lips to stick out a bit more. But I think that's good. Um a little bit of cheeks in between the light and dark and then right here i'm gonna do it because the light's coming in from this side let's blend it a hair Ooh, wait i was on the hey i don't know 
how about I will just get so much speed for no reason as a slowest character. I don't know. Every time I play a Sonic game, Shadow is always my go-to. Like, I, I loved him as a kid because I was a freaking edgy kid. And then, yeah. A little bit of glow. And honestly, you would blend it more sometimes. You would even uh, like adjust the settings. Uh, they like do hard light, so it like matches the colors more, or just has more of that glow to it. But um, this is just real quick and simple. And because the lines aren't shouldn't be too crazy, oops, it shouldn't be really crazy. Um, and be more blended or really small lines. It's like, okay, you don't need to do too much for subsurface scattering. Unlike if you put, you know, fingertips in a, underneath the light and then made like a bunch of glowing to it. Um, I think it just has the best games. Ooh. I only care for like the Sonic ones. And even then I don't really care for like a lot of the newer ones. I haven't played Frontiers though. I really want to try, um, what's it called? Sonic Adventures, the first one. I have two, but not the first one. Honey, what? Uh, um, most well-known family-friendly gaming game company in America. Obviously Nintendo. Duh. They are like so focused on being family-friendly. Okay, so now it's just when you would do a little bit extra details. So a uh, little bit extra stuff like um, what is this called again? Second, like a secondary light. Uh, let's say there's a light source right behind her. It's a blue light and we would go like this. We would basically cover every part that got just a little bit of light just to one make her more 3d you can do this whether there's a second light source or not honestly but preferably add a second light source depending on how your picture goes um this just makes them look more three-dimensional um a little bit thicker Okay, maybe not that big, bro. Okay. Just a little bit of glow adds a lot. Probably not right there, but yeah. Other colors can add a good contrast and uh, make things look more detailed and three dimensional. Um, Sonic Adventure is ten dollars on three sixty. Okay. <laughs> I would like the GameCube version because of uh, Sonic Adventures 2 is on there on the GameCube, the one that I have. Uh, now, who do you think has the most well-known family-friendly game company in Japan? I would assume Nintendo, but could be Sega, could be PlayStation. I don't really know too much about game companies, if I'm being honest. Um, I haven't even been like much of a gamer until like these recent years, probably till COVID. Sonic Adventure 2 is $10 on. Thank you. Thank you, Kirby. <laughs> um, other things you can do. Let's say you have all of these colors. These are your basic colors that you want. And your background is at sunset or it's at night. And this is just way too bright to be nighttime. So I luckily have a color palette for nighttime. So I would throw my color over the whole thing. Do screen or is it multiplied? Dude, why is the music stopping? Oh, okay, it's good. It was changing. It just was so abrupt. So you can adjust like uh, opacity or adjust the blend modes 
um, to fit more with your environment. See, like this would be kind of like a concert where there's like bright lights, but it's like at nighttime or something. Um, yeah, sometimes you want to shade in black and white and using something over it would look, make it look nicer. Um, some people do shade if you want extra contrast. You put, you could even have like all these shading and details and stuff and then erase some of it or even like just lightly erase it so that if you want a lot of contrast let's say there's a bright neon sign at night and this is the glow all the highlights are the glows from the neon lights um blend it that way it gives more environmental lighting it makes it more uh organized and complete when you put all the colors and put one color over all the other ones just to make it unified that's the word i'm looking for yes 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 <laughs> Uh, that doesn't look too good but yeah so you can just do like a bunch of different stuff like that uh for the details but that is pretty much my shading process i know this was kind of like scuffed and all that so if you want to see how it looks like overall um i will unmute all the detailed layers i think i finished coloring or practicing this art piece i'm not entirely sure um let me undo it but basically everything i've shown you here is what i practice myself and this is my process although i would like change something wait where's the eye here i would change like some things here and there um that is my little art process and i did the face and skin because that is like the basics that's probably like the most important um at least for what a lot of people try to do uh it's sega in japan they're given publishing rights and arcade machine oh yeah arcades are huge over there um how this game's EA games so that's crazy but yeah so that is my process i hope you learn at least something out of it um yeah my approach and understanding has changed a little bit i haven't um drawn in a little bit so mine now might not be as good but i like it better in some ways other ways not as much i think the contrast is a lot more intense uh but like my color palette wise but yeah i hope you liked hope you learned something uh nim nim why are you crying <laughs> you good uh is do you have any questions before i go or anything like that i'll just chill Oh wait, Kitana wanted me to draw her, and then I think you wanted me to draw something. I don't know. Um, oops. Uh, here's like the other times I practiced it. Here's another different art style I wanted to try coloring for, and another one, and then I want to try like line arts, and then I want to try um, organization and stuff. But yeah. Uh, oh gosh. Um, oh yeah, your canvas does matter. Uh, 46x per 87y over square root of 90. Square root of 90 is, I don't know, 9 point something? Uh, calculator. Hey, let's do this right here, right now. We have 
Wait. Okay. Four. Four six X times eighty-seven. Oh wait, why did I write four? Sometimes my brain says Ugh, one thing and my mind ah. for ninety. Is that right? Uh, forty-six X per or times eighty-seven Y over divided square root of ninety. Okay, what's the square root of ninety? How do I do that on this calculator? Uh, 90. Work with me, man. Oh, okay. So let's say... I'm probably going to be off or wrong. Or um, equals 46x times 87y over 9 point... Say 5, round up the second integer or whatever it's called. Uh, are we solving for X or Y? Which one do you want, Nam Nam? Dude, I haven't done algebra in <laughs> forever. Uh. Okay, in the meantime, I'll draw Kurthana. I he did a scuff donut redeem, whatever. How do I want to draw? Dude, I'm tired and my hands are like shaky now. Um, oops. You already saw. I did? When? I remember right. Her hair was like. Like this. At least with the old model. Because this is what I was doing with the. Uh, um. Wait, that's weird. Why do I do it like that? Whatever, I don't care. It's like her old model. Oh, jeez. Like, give her that classic anime triangle face. Do the new model? Oh, gosh. I'd have to look at it. I don't know if I have a photo of it because when I was doing like the video stuff I asked like everyone to send me photos of their person just to like um draw and so I don't have the new one but maybe her eye and the old one I actually like noticed this her eye would like go down. Oh gosh. It was kind of different. I don't know if I like saw too much anime like that. Or no. It would be like. Like go like here. Go down. And it was like more thick. Towards the outside. If I remember. Oh gosh, this is really bad. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Put the hoodie? Okay. Oh. There's an ad. <gasps> Yay! You know what? I'm erasing this part. See, I can't draw without like a bajillion million references. I have to have it like perfect because i am actually ocd spanish ad oh i don't know if it was spanish i wasn't really listening but yeah he is ep or sleepy the missile is ep yeah like that little thing at the bottom i think and then she had like blue orange eyes i'm not gonna color though and then like it looks like she's high <laughs> and has it is like really depressed <laughs> Uma got lost in minecraft that's how it goes her hair kind of like goes well because she's like tilted up wouldn't like do too much and then like the hair is kind of like long and then there's like strands here and there i think 
Dude, this looks just like her. Got it. Aha, Kuma. Yeah, El Kuma. Mm hmm. And then, like, thicker strands. Or, wait, hold up. Like, here's a strand. And I go like that, and then we erase this. And then we do a thicker strand. Like that. And then it'll be covered up by the hoodie. Um. Oh, I don't think I changed the stream title. <laughs> I can't believe I'm realizing it at the end. Okay. Okay. Like this. Ready? Heck. Give her a doobie. Wait, what? Oh, duplicated the layer. Oh, she doesn't have eyebrows. I was like, what? Why is she so weird? Oh, classic anime, anime nose. He's playing retro arc? What's retro arc? Uh, did Kathona break her keyboard? Ew. <laughs> um, big hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember much after this. Uh, this should be in her hands. Um, more cigarettes. But like really bunched up. Like she's like death gripping it. Like these are my cigarettes. What are you gonna do about it? Both hands. And they're on fire too. What do you guys think? This. I think it's accurate. <laughs> this, oh, this is accurate. Oh gosh. Okay, there you go. There's your scuffed on a. She has thick eyebrows. Does she? I don't know. It's good. Um, give it the anime blush. Oh gosh. There we go. He's smoking cigarettes while her hoodie says fart night. <laughs> there, we, there we go. Hope you guys enjoy it. AP look at DM. Oh, um, I'm taking Kuma's boat to Z 57,000. Oh, okay. What's well, I got a DM from Kerbo. What is this? Homebrews or add we my final girl. Huh? My brain is too dead to understand. You didn't DM me, Namco. Or I don't I don't think you did. It's not showing up. Unless it's like DM on Twitch or something? Is that possible? Okay, I don't know. That's it from me. I'll check DMs after stream because it's not really popping up for me for some reason but yeah uh hope hope my art tutorial helped hope you like the the scuff art <laughs> look dude there's literally nothing that okay let me reopen discord let me reopen discord did you like mention me in the channel or something minecrafting now said kuma 
fire gator sent a meme please color this there's literally nothing in my dms my guy the only thing that's in it is me saying okay there it is whoa no wait that's sick oh my gosh wait what's that really fainted lines is that like roses like for rosy cheeks that's so good dude that's kind of fire my guy i'm i might color that but i hope my tutorial helped you well enough to learn how to color even though a lot of it is like uh no anatomy and light and hard and soft lights and then also um feel the curvature of your face to know how things should be harder uh harder soft lights yeah dude this is a really good art piece i might just do that is this what you've been asking me to like uh for the tutorial for because if so i'm sorry i've taken so long because but this is really good my guy i really like it that's good oh link thank you kerbo we have we have two different types of chatters in chat right now we have the kerbo who sends a picture of link stuffing his face into a horse's butt and then and then <laughs> and then we have nam nam who who sends a brilliant art piece uh because i keep using black colors only um if i mean i kind of use the way i do line art i really like hard hard sharp lines i like, I like this I'm like that looks really bad i really like hard sharp lines that are like really dark oh wait my my thing's not catching up okay but yeah like bruh okay really hard and like gritty lines like stuff like that i really like it and so because of that it looks a little bit more dark um and so i keep my lines black uh like shadow dark 50 percent dark 25 percent. are you talking about are you coloring with shot or like black um where's a tutorial i think this was um i mean depending on like the style you're going for but like i really just would not recommend um coloring with black because you don't get too much variety out of it um i don't have the thing and uh, uh, yeah do you have like any questions and stuff i would really recommend learning how to do colors and stuff um this is black at let's say like 25 percent. that's why my colors like our drawings look dead i wouldn't say they look dead it's just how you use what you what you can uh and like each art style where did the colors go okay so like this the colors are it's it's straight up black not pure black but um and it's about 25 percent you could use this but i would really recommend starting from the original base color and then either using multiply if you're really struggle to get good colors uh just like like normal straight up colors and adjusting its hue um like you could I don't know if you saw it earlier, but my simple technique is take the color from the flat colors, color over it, and then turn it the layer into multiply. That way you get a dark color and then you get a good idea of okay, it should be around this darkness possibly. Um and then adjust the hue so that it looks slightly different um from its original color and makes it less bland but yeah 
instead of shading with black maybe just shade with a slightly darker color of the original color I just, that's how i go about it and yeah so i don't think your drawings look dead your drawings are very lively uh anatomically and line art wise your line art is really good to me line art is probably my favorite and to me most important thing it's just so mwah. like um oops not this one uh here's another art piece by matri um where i was just practicing different line techniques and just going over what i like and what i don't and to me line art is really good and it really directs your eyes the way you want it helps give it more shape the way you need it but color can also do the same thing so you're doing really good with like line art and you're even better at me than being original and anatomically correct and stuff like that so i don't think you should be worried too much about whether your art pieces are lively or not but like yeah this is just the next step and you're doing good and if enrique is dead kerbo the whole server will die everyone um okay i'll take last questions or comments or anything like that but i really need to hop off my throat is just dying and i'm out of water oh. <laughs> yeah because kuma kuma is next but the whole server will die um chat highlight settings how do i do this um here i'll get onto my vtuber model for the last bit of the stream hopefully it picks up hello okay obs you're good dude i'm so hungry i'm like suddenly really hungry hey kuma said a skeleton shot and killed him then i will say a skeleton shot and killed the whole server uh did you save the image which oh, the one you sent me i'm going to i haven't yet but yeah Burp. okay um i'll save it i'll color it like a little bit and see how it turns out but really i just kind of i wanted this to be like a learning thing uh so that you can figure out how to like improve your art too uh this isn't a bit he said he did that die you already deleted wait from the discord messages dude send it again <laughs> i haven't saved it because i looked at it on my pc and i've been using my uh ipad <laughs> send it again what the heck but okay well that's all um no ice i'm gonna go eat drink and pass out and cry myself to sleep so i hope you guys have a great day and uh remember to don't talk to drugs okay bye <laughs>